Have you ever had the kind of week that made you just want to crawl under the covers and hide from the world while binging on ice cream sandwiches and mango margaritas? No? Anyone? Just me? Well, last week was one of those weeks for me. I'm not ashamed to say, okay, maybe a little bit ashamed, that I am the world's worst patient. When I'm sick or injured, I become a moppy, irritable, whiny man-child, and it's usually best to just avoid me completely unless you want to be dragged into a melodramatic emotional meltdown that leaves you wishing for an antidepressant prescription with a double bourbon chaser. I wish I could say that's an exaggeration. I had just had knee surgery to repair a torn meniscus. The procedure itself was straightforward and simple, taking no more than about 20 minutes once the surgeon got started. I was home resting on the couch before I knew it, and really didn't experience much pain at all. That didn't stop me from being a total baby, though, because that's just how I roll. My pity party of one was cut short, however, when I was notified that we were going to be receiving 12 cats from a tragic hoarding situation. Suddenly my mildly sore knee didn't seem like the end of the world anymore. A property management company made the shocking discovery after one of their tenants passed away from COVID-19. These poor cats were alone and hungry, and were in desperate need of immediate help. As soon as we took the cats into our care, our veterinary staff began the long process of carefully examining each of the 12 cats to determine their condition and provide any needed medical care. Upon examination, we discovered that several of the cats have pretty significant infection in their eyes. The worst among them is a cat who holds his eyes closed most of the time because they're so irritated and painful. It's heartbreaking to see. They also had pretty severe ear infections as well. One cat's infection is so bad that it goes into his middle and inner ear, resulting in a lack of balance and perpetual head tilt. We're not sure yet if he'll be able to recover completely from it, but at the very least we'll get him to a point where it doesn't hurt or itch anymore. A few of the cats have skin infections secondary to heavy flea infestations. For some, it makes them look pretty rough because they're missing whole sections of fur from the irritation. And at least a couple of them are expecting kittens. The good news is they seem friendly towards people, which is often not the case in these kinds of hoarding situations. This will make it easier for us to find loving homes for them once they're healthy enough to be adopted. At this point, we've been able to get several of them into loving foster homes where they are getting personalized health treatment from some of our most experienced fosters. The ones who are not yet in foster are here at the shelter because they require a higher level of veterinary care at this point.